so today i'm going to discuss about the so how to how to create the standard logic apps okay so in my previous uh, videos already i have created the lot of applications with the consumption plan consumption plan log um, logic apps now i'm going to create the standard logic apps so what is the main difference between the consumption plan and standard plan okay before um i start with the standard i will show the a uh, real time scenario so oh i will show the workflows okay go to the logic apps okay these are the things i have created the application with the consumption plan and the standard one so i will show the structure of this consumption plan if you see my previous videos okay yeah the structure is completely different the logic app designer yeah this is the way you have to create the connectors and everything in consumption plan okay yeah uh, again i'm going to the uh, standard plan if you go to the standard plan the structure is completely different from the consumption plan okay you can see the schemas maps okay uh, you can put the xsd xml uh, sorry uh, json schemas uh, to compare and validate uh this schemas and you can have the uh, maps to map the uh, target location and also you can see the workflows you can see okay so what is the main difference between the uh, consumption and standard okay for example uh, your application is running on the consumption so it means your application is running on the uh, integration service environment it means multi tenant okay so uh, if your application is uh, running on the standard plan running with the standard plan it means your application is running on the standard uh, single tenant what is the main difference okay in si single tenant uh, you can have the okay i will show oh, single tenant in single tenant you can have the multiple workflows under the one logic app under one logic app okay but when consumption plan only one workflow i will show okay if you open the a uh, consumption plan you can see only one workflow under one logic app yeah if you click on the logic app you can see okay if you open the standard logic app you can see you can have the multiple workflows under one logic app okay this is the stateful okay these are two or the stateless and just remember you you uh, you can have the multiple multiple features with the stateful so what is the main difference between the stateful and stateless okay uh, if you choose the stateful or uh, you can mm, for example your logic app have the uh, i will write there you can understand stateful means for example your uh, logic app has the task with the long running application for example it should connect with the external resources okay um the data should store in the external resources in that scenario in that real time scenario you have to use the stateful workflow okay so uh, and stateless stateless means uh, this is for the short running lo um, logic apps okay short running lg apps logic apps okay this is for the long running logic apps okay this is for external resources or this is okay this is for internal memory internal resources okay so this is the way uh, uh, you have to choose whether you have to choose the stateful or the stateless okay now i will jump into the so how to create the logic apps by using the vs code okay so click on this a button and you can see the logic apps here icon click on that and choose the stateful or the stateless 
okay stateful workflow okay before that i will create that a new environment sorry a new window okay i will start with the new project create a new project and a select a proper um, create a folder for this to this data uh, code okay azure stateful lg app okay and select okay now select the stateful or the stateless okay now i'm going to create with the stateful okay so give a proper name for your oh, stateful okay mm. lg okay oh, sf stateful oh, oh workflow actually it's a workflow so stateful workflow demo okay so in current window select that okay click on this and deploy logic app and click on the create new logic app standard in advanced enter global unique name for your new logic app oh i'm giving the logic app i found um, stateful demo test okay selected region i'm going to choose the HTUS. so workflow standard create a new service plan i'm going to choose the workflow okay uh, uh ws1 wst ws3 these are the workflow standard price okay for example uh, if you want to see i will show you you can see these are the pricing types ws1 means virtual cpu uh, cpu you will get one and memory 3.5 gp okay and ws2 you will get two and seven ws3 means four you will get 14 gp okay like that you have to choose based on your requirement in real time scenario okay i'm going to choose the ws2 and also a pro you have to provide the a proper uh, resources these are the resources okay already i have created in my uh, logic app otherwise you can create from here okay i'm going to choose the password g and the storage account uh, you can create the new uh, storage account otherwise you can store in the existing one and i don't want this uh, application insights for example if you want to send you if you want to log your information or uh, into application insights uh, you can choose otherwise you can skip it for now i'm going to choose uh, this one the region code instance is for subscription try different region oh god what happened stateful workflow Full demo. Standard. Give the logic cap underscore. Logic cap name. Now this time I'm using to S T S two. Okay, stand lock phone. Set service plan. Enter and W three. Impose oh RG. I don't want okay stories.
yeah now it's creating sometimes you will face the issue with the region so that time you need to change that region and always keep in mind your uh, created region and the storage account region both should be same okay for example it is in the one region and storage account in another region and another resources in another region so it will uh, there is a ambic uh, conflicts will may occur in between the region so that is the reason why previously we got this error you can see the region has a quota of one instance for your subscription so that is the reason why we, uh, I, I got that error okay before you choose the any uh, anything region please uh, check before you create please choose proper one okay in my coming session uh, I will discuss with the uh, like uh, so how to create the uh, standard logic apps in real-time environment I will discuss everything okay so now I we will check whether we have that's created or not the logic apps yeah still it's in deployment so that's why it's not reflected on the Azure's portal yeah you can see in app service the standard application the standard logic app application has created so this is called the ASC okay app service environment you can see standard and go to the workflows you can see there is a two workflows has enabled okay go and open this and go to code and you can see stateful good and stateful and another thing you can have the multiple workflows under one logic cap in standard okay for example you can have the uh, for uh, now we have created with the standard uh, uh, logic cap with the uh, stateful flows now so you can create the stateless also you can create the stateless and you can put over here so that is the main advantage with the standard logic caps okay so in coming session i will uh, create the logic cap with the real-time scenarios okay uh thank you so much guys if you like this video uh please uh, subscribe okay i um i know there is a little bit lag in this video oh uh, please uh, forward this okay when you're watching please forward and watch okay thank you so much guys bye